What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Beans in the building, aka That Guy Beans, the man more saucy than a chicken wing. But now, listen, enough about all that. Let's get down to business. I got a fire video for y'all today, and it's the five things you did not know about NBA 2K20's park slash neighborhood. Now, listen, I know what you're thinking. I've seen it all, I've heard it all, I know it all, but guess what? Three out of five of these, I guarantee, next to guarantee, you did not know. The first one is traveling through the subway. Going by yourself, not that bad of an issue. Not, not an issue like that. I went through gotten games, no problem. When you go with a squad, do not do it, people. Please. Please, please, please. We want games. Nothing worse than being on the street, not really getting games. The next thing you know, someone hops on and the game don't start. You know why it doesn't start? Because 90% of the time, those people went through the subway. The subway is a problem, people. Stay away from it. We got a global pandemic going on right now. I'm not going to name it because we're not supposed to. But the second biggest global pandemic going on is people traveling through the subway, people. You feel me? Sheesh. Anybody who's played 2K knows this feeling because they've either went through it. But mostly the feeling I'm talking about is they've had people waiting next and the game did not start because of so. So please, people, stop traveling through the subway. Go through Annie up. Or go through my daily spin, which is where I am now. And when traveling through your daily spin, which is what we do every day, right? We play, we go to our daily spin, do it, see, hopefully we get the right prizes. Nothing worse than getting a tattoo, right? You know the feeling. But listen, when you're trying to leave here, like as I just showed, there's one exit. I'm running over to the second exit. You can barely leave with your team if you're in with a squad of three, let's say. You can have two at one door, one at the other, and you can leave together. Yes, yeah, said it. Different doors, leave together. That was number two. Moving on to number three, and this is 2K wide, not just for the park, but you know, I'm a park player, so I'm gonna show you how it is. Meter off is huge. Meter off is huge. Every time you come into your game, you turn it on, you're gonna have to go to this screen here. You can play with the meter, turn it off. I was just showing pro stick orientation and off ball, off ball mode. Also, always starts on absolute, change it to camera relative if you feel pleasing. And then, Here's your pass target open openness. A lot of people don't know this either. You could turn your pass target openness all the way up and merrily just hit X and it will go to the most open player. That's where people don't really like the icon. I love the icon, so I don't do so. That was number three. Going to number four. This one blew my mind and I only found this out yesterday. When you go to your clothes in the neighborhood, you can have two different looks. That's right. R2L2 or on Xbox. Left and right bumper in the back there. So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a quick little fit. See me looking through the closet real quick. See me looking through the closet. There you go, I'm gonna go my Raptors get up. You know how it is, repping my favorite team and the country I'm in. But yeah, so listen, pick you whatever it is you please. You know, whatever you, whatever you feel need be, whatever you wanna wear in the park. Ain't nobody discriminating with whatever you want, but please. I see a lot of people with their shirts off doing these tattoos of bras on men. Like, come on. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying that maybe you should put a shirt on if you want to wear a bra. I'm just saying. All right. But yeah, look. I'm flicking back and forth to both outfits. You see that? That's number four. Going to number five. This is one of the big ones that a lot of people still don't know. I've been playing with people for a long time and even they still don't know. People are wondering, how does this happen? A lot of people who don't have Jump Shot Creator will not know about this. People who have Jump Shot Creator know the vibe. Most people know this. But if you do not know this, this is so imperative as to why every time you come online, you have to go to that same little routine. Go through that same little routine where you go ahead and turn your meter off. You go to fix your jump shot but sometimes you gotta do that more than once because your jump shot will keep resetting this is how to avoid that so let's just say i'm gonna go ahead and start off here and i'm gonna go ahead and pick jump shot number one for my base cool everybody knows how to create a jump shot i don't need to show you guys like that let's say i'm going for my release i'm gonna go for release number 10. my second upper release i'm gonna go 14 right cool i can go ahead over to the blending you guys know how to do so we play around with it change how the jump shot looks how it moves Fine, I went 60, 40, 10 to 14. 
So then obviously you got to name your jump shot, which you guys already know. But if you haven't, it's pretty simple. You go to create new jump shot, name it whatever you please. I like to name it what it is. I see it's 1, 10, and 14. Sometimes I put the percentages, sometimes I don't. My other creator jumpers above. So I just put 1. But a little, yeah, and a 10. Another comma. And a 14. So basically, you know. However you want to name it, that's that's not the most imperative part about this. What is imperative about this is that you go over to your animation store. This is where it's most imperative. Remember the jump shot you bought. So me, I know already it's 1, 10, and 14 for this specific jumper. So this is the most crucial part of this all. You got to go and buy the jump shots. Not hard at all, but you have to do this. 1, 10, and I did 14 here. If your jumper is, you got to make sure you buy all parts. If you do not buy all parts and you leave one out, your jumper will reset to whatever 2K decides to set it to. Mine, for some reason, was always number 64. I don't know why, but it always went to 64. That was that one. So make sure you do this. You buy it, you equip your jumper, you'll never have that issue again, I promise you. A lot of people did not know this. You know what I'm saying? So there you go, you go and you equip it. And I promise you, when you click on this now, if you ever purchase, this will be the last time you got to do that. I promise. So those are the five things you may or may not have known in NBA 2K20, park slash neighborhood. But that is the conclusion of my video, y'all. I appreciate all my subscribers, everybody who's tuning into this video. And if you haven't already, hit a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been real, y'all. I'm out.